so we were discussing about the criteria to select the point in the master doing acupuncture so we have three criteria criteria number 1 as per the image criteria number 2 as per channel or meridian concept criteria number 3 tissues so we have three criteria to select the point in the master doing acupuncture <clears throat> and we were discussing about the first criteria means just we have taken the first criteria that is image correspondence and we have divided in three parts large tai chi medium tai chi and small tai chi in the large tai chi we are doing the comparison of whole arm we are doing the comparison of whole arm with the other side of arm so we are doing the comparison of right arm with the left arm right arm look like same as the left arm so as per the weaker tai chi we are doing the comparison of right arm right full arm with the left full arm right full leg with the left full leg right arm with the left leg means we are doing the treatment of diseased arm in the normal full arm so this is the bigger tai chi large tai chi in the medium tai chi we are taking just half either either we are taking half of the arm from elbow to down or we are taking the feet knee to down means half of feet this is in the medium tai chi and in the small tai chi we have three division all the tubular bone each and every bone representing complete body so we are doing the treatment of full body in one bone second in the face we are doing three partition this is the upper part this is the middle part this is the lower part and we are doing the body, the treatment of upper body here the treatment of middle body here the treatment of lower body here and third under the feet
under the feet we are doing the imagination of whole body so these are small tai chi means we are doing the imagination of whole body in a smaller structure that is small tai chi let's see the example of small tai chi let's see the feet ring feet so as per the small tai chi we are doing the imagination of whole body under the feet so head will be here both arm will be here and abdomen as well as best region and lower back will be here so we are doing the imagination of whole body in this way let's see this image so as per this image we are doing the imagination of whole body under the feet in this part so head region will be here arm will be here the abdomen and lower back will be here so when we talk about the these point as per the given by the master to so whatever point given under the feet by the master to they are called 55 point unit as we have done the discussion under the feet all the point coming they are falling under the 55 so we can tell them 55.01 55.02 and 6 we are having only six point under the feet given by master to so let's see all the point one by one all the point are between this gaps so first we are looking the point in this first gap then we are looking the point in this second gap then third we are looking the point in the third gap and then fourth we are looking the point in this fourth gap and we are telling them flower bone the name of these point are flower bone so as per the master to this is the flower bone one this is the flower bone two this is the flower bone three and this is the flower bone four so we are when you write flower bone one means the point between first and second metatarsal bone because this is the first metatarsal bone this is the second metatarsal bone when we are looking the point in between then we are telling flower bone one when we are looking point in the second place means between the second and third this is the second metatarsal bone and this is the third metatarsal bone then we are looking the point in between second and third metatarsal bone we are telling them flower bone 2 flower bone 2 then we are coming between the third 
So this is the third metatarsal bone. This is the fourth metatarsal bone. In between, in the gap, we have points. We are telling them flower bone three. F B three. Then the point between this fourth and fifth metatarsal bone point coming in this location. Here we are the flower bone four. So these all points are in the gap given by master two. And as for the imagination, whatever we have discussed. So as for our imagination, if someone is suffering with the problem of headache, migraine, and problem with the eyes, we can treat in the flower bone burn. So flower bone burn is very good for headache. And the problem of eyes. Not only this, anything happening in the upper body part. So this flower bone one is very effective. This flower bone two are very effective for the problem in the arms on and at the level of arm, knee, shoulder, pain, pain in the finger, numbness in the finger, anything happening in the elbow region, whatever happening in the arm and shoulder. So flower bone two is very effective. Then flower bone three. The flower bone three is very effective in the abdominal problems as well as on the lower back. Then at last, this is the flower bone four. This is the flower bone four. It is very effective again for the tailbone. Pain in the tailbone and at the lower back and in the abdomen. So in this way, we have the imagination of whole body here in the form of flower bone one, two, three, four. This is the example of a small thigh cheek. Actually, we can use these points, flower bone one, for all the condition of the headache. But as per the experience. This point has been discovered, the great point for eyes. So most of the time we are using them for the problem of the eyes. In the same way, these flower bone too, Useful for all the problem happening in the third level, in the thyroid, at the level of neck, in the arm and shoulder. But most of the time we are using them for the shoulder and arm only. Because as per the experience, they are proven very excellent for the problem in the arm and shoulder. So not only shoulder pain, frozen shoulder, they are very good for the frozen shoulder. They're very good for all the condition happening in this area. So this flower bone too is very excellent for the shoulder and arm as per the experience. Then we are moving to this green area, flower bone three. As per the ex experience, this flower bone three and flower bone four, both we are using for the lower back pain as well as for the abdominal problem. So as for the experience, they are the point very good for lower back pain. So flower bone three and four, both. It's very simple to search the point in the margin, in the gap. So we have to search the point in the margin. So when we talk about the flower bone one, these are the four point. One, two, three and four. These are only two points. This is only one point and this is only one point. So we are having total eight point here in this location. 
means flower bone one to four. We are having total eight points. So in the flower bone one, we are having four point unit, four point unit. Four point together are called flower bone one. We are not telling them flower bone one two three four. Four point together are called flower bone one. Then two point together are called flower bone two. Then one point called flower bone three. Then one point called flower bone four. So in the flower bone one, we are having four point. In the flower bone two, we are having <clears throat> two point. In the flower bone three, <coughs> we are having one point, and in the flower bone four, we are having one point. In this way, if we talk about the, all the four flower, total eight points. So, let's discuss first about this. So, this is the joint. This is the joint. This is the joint of metatarsal bone and toes. So when we talk about the flower bone one, these are the four point unit. Point five chun, point five chun, point five chun, and point five chun. The all the four point are available point five chun away from the this margin means from the bay margin. If you go point five chun, then again point five chun, then again point five chun, then again point five chun. So that this distance is point five chun. Then again this distance is point five chun. Then again this distance is point five chun. Then again this distance is one point five only point five chun. So from this place to this place, total distance become two chun. So these are the four point unit, which are point five chun, point five chun, point five chun, point five chun away from the wave margin. And these points are very good for eyes, which is called flower bone one. So whatever the problem in the eye, maybe. It is normal vision problem. Maybe it is glaucoma, conjunctivitis, uveitis, retinitis pigmentosa. There are many, many, many problem. Blepharitis, uveitis. There are lots of problem which is connected with the vision, and these points are really very effective for all the vision problem. Flower bone one. <laughs> Actually, as per the imagination, we can see this area belong to the head region, and if you go to just opposite side. If you just go opposite side, like if I am going opposite side here, this part, this part is liver area, and we are having liver meridian here. This is the liver meridian. As per the acupuncture, liver meridian. Connected with the eyes, so that's why when when we are putting needle at the bottom, and we are inserting the needle near about half chun, we are inserting the needle near about half chun. So this needle is coming towards the liver area, liver meridian, and liver meridian is connected with the eyes. Eyes, if eyes are yellow, always we think, oh, there is something wrong with the liver. So when we insert the needle between first and second metatarsal bone, this needle working on the liver meridian from the bottom, 
so that's why these points working more beneficially for the eyes problem so these point has become very great and very effective point for the eyes but we are putting from the bottom so this is called flower bone bun so these are the four point unit starting from bay margin 0.5 to first point then 0.5 to second point 0.5 to third point 0.5 to four point and these four point unit are called flower bone one then we are coming to the next flower bone two in the flower bone two we are having only two points the first point it one chun away from the bay margin one chun away and the second point 0.5 chun away so in the distance of 1.5 chun we are having two point means we are two point first point is one chun away from the bay margin second point 0.5 chun away from the bay margin and these two point unit are called flower bone two and this flower bone two are very effective for the problem of arm elbow finger and shoulder so someone suffering with the frozen shoulder pain in the upper arm elbow lower arm having carpal tunnel syndrome pain in the wrist numbness in the finger so we can treat these two points insert the half chun needle if you are not having practice on needling you can put matter or chana or you can do acupressure with the help of some acupressure probe and you will see the results putting the needle will give you greater results just put the needle no need of stimulation manipulation just putting the needle enough for pain in the arm and shoulder joint so this is flower bone 2 after that we are coming to the flower bone 3 so between the third and fourth metatarsal bone in the gap we are we are having just one point two chun away just one point two chun away so this point is very good for lower back pain this is called flower bone 3 okay if we look at the feet from the upper side so look at the feet from here so from the bottom we are coming here this is the flower bone one then we have discussed the flower bone two but we are coming from the bottom not from here now we are discussing this flower bone 3 and i am telling you this is very good for the lower back pain and we are inserting the point from the bottom not from this surface as per the meridian concept we are having gallbladder meridian here when we will learn the meridian that time you will see the gallbladder meridian here so this is the gallbladder meridian
and stomach meridian he is here and the middle area this area in between having the energy of both so even having the energy of the stomach as well as gallbladder so that's why this area also very good for all the abdominal problems abdominal distension so this flower bone three because it is between the stomach and gb stomach and gallbladder meridian so they are very good these point are very good for the problem of the stomach like abdominal distension so look at it from the bottom so this is the flower bone one two now we are talking about the three from the bay margin it is two chuna bay and this flower bone three is very good for the for the lower back as well as it is very good for the abdominal distension and any problem having creating the problem in the abdomen so this is single point now last here we are having flower bone four this flower bone four is very good for the pain in the tailbone and lower back the lower most part of the spine the lower most part which is left the lower most part of the spine the lower most part of the body including all the lower part like knee pain heel pain all the part coming in the lower side this flower bone four is useful for these parts and we are having only one point here only single point so these two point are on the same level means flower bone 3 and flower bone 4 are on the same level when we look at the feet our feet is having natural curve like that see feet is having natural curve like that so when we measure from the bay margin this point become two chuna bay and this point become 1.5 chuna bay this difference in distance because of the curving of the feet but these two points having same level 3 and 4 so this flower bone 4 is very effective for these all problems for lower back pain especially this is a single point which is 1.5 chuna away from the way margin if we look at the feet from the upper direction from here so our flower bone four coming in between these areas flower bone four if we look at the this side this side we are having one meridian the name of that meridian is urinary bladder meridian and this side we are having one meridian the name of this meridian is gallbladder meridian so our flower bone four having lo is located between two meridian gallbladder and ub and when we see the location of gallbladder and ub in the neck region so look at the first urinary bladder meridian 
this is the urinary bladder meridian or bladder meridian who is supplying neck from the back side not only neck supplying whole spine but right now my concern to so you the neck area so this bladder meridian supplying neck just located on the side of the spine so we have shown in this image only in one side but this bladder, bladder meridian branches going in the right side as well as the left side so whenever you want to treat the pain in the neck we are treating the bladder meridian and when we so see the gallbladder meridian So look at the gallbladder meridian. Gallbladder meridian also supplying the neck. So first in the center we are having spine. Then we are going little on the side. We are having bladder meridian. Then we are going little away. Then we are having gallbladder meridian. So spine, then urinary bladder, then gallbladder. So in this way, if we do something in the gallbladder and urinary bladder. Then, then we can release the neck. So whenever we are working on the flower bone four, this is working on the lower back as well as in the neck region, as per this imagination. So flower bone one is very effective for the stiff neck and for the pain in the neck region. So this is the. completion of flower bone four so we are having only one point from the bay margin it is 1.5 chun how to measure 1.5 chun means when we see the thumb the width of thumb is one chun when we see the index finger and middle finger together this is the index finger is the middle finger and we when we measure the width of these two finger this is 1.5 chun and when we measure the three finger together means index finger middle finger and ring finger then it become two chun so in this way this point is 1.5 chun and this point is two chun so this point is very useful for the lower back pain as well as for the neck problem neck pain so this is the completion of all the four flowers let's see in the other image let's see in this image so this is the bay margin from this bay margin we are having 4.5 point, point chun away 0.5 chun away 0.5 chun away 0.5 chun away this is flower bone one flower this is the flower bone one four point unit then we are having two points from this bay margin we are going one chun away then again point five chun away so these are the two point unit this is flower bone two then from the bay margin we are going two chun away that is flower bone Three. Then from the bay margin, we are going one point five chun. 
that is flower bone four so in this way we are having flower bone one two three four flower bone one is good for eyes flower bone two good for arm and shoulder flower bone three is good for abdomen and back and flower bone four is very good for the lower back pain as well as neck so these are the description of flower bone one two three four Let's see two more point here. We can see this is the index finger. This is the index toe. And in this toe, we are having this distal joint, the distal mode joint. And in this joint, in just center, this is the one point. i will discuss shortly about this point this is the same point where female wear the silver ring female wear the silver ring here on this point because this point is directly connected with the uterus it calm down the heat in the uterus and prevent the abortion so this point is reducing unwanted heat from the uterus and saving the female from unwanted uterine disorder so they are wearing the silver ring here on this point so this is in the index toe the distal joint and center point and we have seen in our tradition most of the female wearing silver ring here because when we talk about the gold and silver the gold is doing tonification and silver is doing sedation or in the other word we can tell calming down effect bring with the effect of silver so we never advise to wear the gold ring here because gold ring may increase the heat instead of that we are applying we are advising the silver ring here because our point in just in between this is a distal joint and this is just middle point here this point is very effective when we stimulate this point very vigorously it may induce the delivery in the female so after the completing 9 month pregnancy if some female unable to deliver the child so we are stimulating this point vigorously so this point inducing the delivery so if you stimulate this point this point is inducing the delivery so never stimulate this point during the pregnancy because this point also may create the abortion but if pregnancy of 9 month has been completed now we want to deliver the child normally then we can stimulate this point because this point is directly connected with the uterus the central one so there are two use of this point number one it is very good for the uterus number two this is very good for heart if someone is suffering with a heart attack with the pain of angina so we are stimulating this point so there are two use of this point number 1 uterus number 2 heart then so this is the point and this very common point in the culture now let's see here so when we divide these all points so this is the point number 1 this is the when we discuss point number 2 this is the point number 3 this is the point number 4 and this is the point number 
so we are telling them 55.01 55 55.02 55.03 55.04 55.05 we are telling this point so 55.04 one point in the index toe which is very good for heart and uterus 55.02 is good for eyes flower bone one 55.03 it is good for arm flower bone two 55.04 is good for abdomen and lower back flower bone three and flower bone four i think you understood So these are the five points. So fifty-five point zero one point located at the distal joint, phalangeal joint. This is the first point, fifty-five point zero one. Then fifty-five point zero two here, four point unit. This is the fifty-five point zero two. Then fifty-five point zero three. These are the two point unit. Then this is the one point fifty five point zero four, and this is the last point fifty five five point zero five. Let's look at again. So these are the four points: one, two, three, four. These are two point one two. This is one point, and this is the one point. Distance point five two point five two point five two point five two. This is one two and point five two. This is two two. And this is one point five, and one point is here, in just in between. So we have learned five point. That is fifty five point zero one two, fifty five point zero five. Let's see one last point here. So we can look at here. We can see this is the heel. and we can see this is the elevated part of the heel this is the elevated part of the heel and this front part is also elevated and this is the depression so if we see this is the elevated part and this is the depression so the junction of elevated part of depression the center point so as soon as this elevated part ends the center point is our 55.06 and this is the last point under the feet so this is the point 55.06 or we tell it brain tumor point this point is useful for all the condition when we feel something some foreign particle in the brain like if there is a expansion of the brain there is fullness of the brain there is some headache in the brain tumor in the brain some tumor anywhere in the head region so we use this point 55.06 so this is called brain tumor point this point is very useful for anything happening in the brain like hydrocephalus what is hydrocephalus hydrocephalus means there is a excessive liquid <clears throat> in the brain especially in the kids so head become bigger so we have seen many kids they are having bigger head and these condition called hydrocephalus so if tumor anywhere in the brain either behind the eyes if someone is having tumor behind the eyes tumor in the brain some blood clot in the brain because of that feeling headache like feeling like like headache feeling of headache like balloon bell expanded balloon so this 55.06 is very good for all the problem of the brain so we have just six point under the feet so first point is here in the center second point here these four point unit third point here these two point unit then this 
then this and this is the last one so one two three four five and six let's see again in the practical demonstration so we can see this is the index two and this is the distal crease this is the distal crease if we see this is the center of one point this is 55.01 the name of this point is fire bag which is the reaction area of heart and liver so that's why this point is very useful for the all the condition related to the heart angina and liver condition for female we are using this point for inducing the delivery so that's why we never use this point for the pregnant lady so we use this point in the difficult delivery and abnormal menstruation as well as the difficult liver and all the liver diseases and heart condition so we come to the next point that is 55.02 ABC this is the first metatarsal bone this is the second metatarsal bone AB go 0.5 tune down this is the first point 0.5 tune down second point 0.5 tune down third point and 0.5 tune down fourth point so this is the four point unit 55.02 four point units one two three and four the name of this point is flower bone one this is very good for all the eye conditions like if someone is suffering with red eyes conjunctivitis glaucoma any eye condition macular degeneration trachoma eyelid inflammation photophobia tearing eyes because of the exposure of wind so in these all condition we use these four points unit the name of this unit is flower bone one i will just insert one needle for the demonstration purpose so we can see this is our first point so we will like that so this is we can insert the needle like that so we can insert the needle in all the four points in the same manner now we are coming to the flower bone 2 55.03 next point so this is in between the second and third metatarsal bone these are the two points you need first point will be 1 tune and second point will be 0.5 tune so in that way this is the flower bone 2 and we are using this for the shoulder pain frozen shoulder arm pain pain in the fingers unable to lift the hands due to some problem in the shoulder cannot lift the uh, hands so all the condition of arm and fingers and hands we use these two points next point flower bone 3 third and fourth metatarsal bone so this is two chun away. So if we measure two chun from here, so this is two chun away. This is the point, flower wound three. This is very useful point. The reaction area of spleen, fifty-five point zero four, between the third and fourth metatarsal bone on the plantar surface. We use this point on the lower back pain, sciatica, vertebral pain, sacral pain, pain referring down coming to the legs, numbness in the feet all the condition of the lower back now we are moving to the next point that is 55.05 flower bone 4 so this is 1.5 tune away so at these points are coming near about at the same level so this is this point the reaction area of this point is lung but this is also indication of this 3 and 4 are at almost same this is also very useful for the vertebral pain sciatica and all the condition in the lower extremities like number numbness in the lower extremities as well as we are using this point for the abdominal distension now we can see this is our bigger muscles and the anterior of this muscles this is the our next point 55.06 so we are using this point for retro orbital tumor hydrocephalus, brain tumor, feeling of heaviness in the head region, trigeminal neuralgia, pain in the cranium. When we combine two more points, treatment becomes very effective. One point is kidney 2. 
we can see this is the navicular bone this is the navicular bone and just below the navicular bone this is kidney too we can see some blood vessels here and we drained out some drop of blood from here from the kidney too from this area from this area we can bleed so and also we can we put the 77 uh, 7.01 which is between the kidney and urinary bladder meridian on the back side the dauma of three points are very useful for the tumor condition okay so this was the little quick demonstration of the uh, i hope you have understood yeah yeah so it was also a practical demonstration also was there and i will see if uh, i will show one more video to you for the same thing but so few minute more we'll see one more video yeah so we'll develop clear understanding so it will be yeah one minute so as per the march result to acupuncture feet is also representing complete body so we can treat whole body from here only so as per the master tomb this is the head region this is the head region and we have eyes so if someone is suffering with the problem of eyes with the problem of ear we can treat from here somewhere so we'll treat at the exact location so this is the extension of head region so this is this much head region this is whole head now if we go down so this is the neck and shoulder region so both the arms so if someone is suffering with the problem of the arm we can treat from the here now hold the lower body part trunk part can be treated from here so this is the upper back and this is the lower back this is the lower back and legs so as per the master tomb we can imagine whole body here in that this way so upper part will treat the problem of head eyes ear and upper body parts then we can treat the problem of the arms and shoulder numbness and pain in the shoulder then we can treat trunk area and upper back as well as upper abdomen then we can treat lower back as well as lower abdomen as well as leg now the first point is 55.01 so this is our index toe and at this index toe this is the distal interphalangeal joint so at the center of distal interphalangeal joint this is the point number one the name of this point is 55.01 so this is 55.01 so this is a wonderful point and it is directly connected with the heart so whenever we treat this point it good good very good effect on the hearts if someone is suffering with a heart problem cardiac problem heart pain pain in pain of the angina heart attack so in that time we are activating this point the best method to activate this point and stimulate this point see the blood vessels if any blood vessels minute blood vessels they are bleed it so you can take anything like you can take lancet or you can take any needle and just put the punch, uh, puncture the uh, point and squeeze the squeeze the blood little so there may be sometimes you may find some yellowish fluid you may, you will find here so with the help of these these points you can uh, work very nicely for the heart condition as well as this is very good point for inducing the delivery so like nine months has been completed but still fetus is not coming out there is no liver pain so we can do treatment here and we can induce the liver pain so this point is very good for inducing the liver pain so in that way in that way we in that way we can use this point for two purpose number one for all the condition of the heart and second purpose for all the condition which is connected with the uterus but we very careful never touch this point during the <clears throat> pregnancy like there is a five month pregnancy, six month pregnancy, seven month pregnancy, we want that fetus should be implanted in the uterus very nicely. That time, do not activate and stimulate this point because this point is inducing delivery. This is this point is contracting the ut placenta. This point is giving bringing cramps in the uterus. So do not use this point. 
so how to needle this point so uh, if simply we want to needle this point so we can needle this point horizontally like that so this is the needling technique in the master tuning acupuncture we always use point opposite side so if someone is having pain in the chest cavity on the left side so better to use this point on the right side in master tuning acupuncture always remember formula of opposite side so that four point unit like half tune half tune half tune and half tune we have four point unit so this is the first metatarsal bone this is the second metatarsal bone the junction of first and second metatarsal bone so at this junction we have four point unit 55.02 so these four point unit called 55.02 and this is very wonderful for all the condition of head region especially we are activating this point for eyes condition vision problem if someone is suffering with myopia hypermetropia macular degeneration retinitis pigmentosa anything which is connected with the eyes even conjunctivitis and we know if we put needle here it will and we keep on putting and needle touch our finger opposite side and we know this is the liver meridian we know this is the liver meridian and liver meridian is connected with the eyes because if there is any problem related with the liver so whenever we put the needle here so if we put needle from the liver meridian down so it is coming down even we can put the needle here it it may touch our finger here so these points are activating our liver meridian as well so that's why it is very good points for the vision problem so this is 55.02 the name of this point is flower bone one pain in, in the eyes or some macular degeneration you have to put one two three and four just i will demonstrate one point here so this is the flower bone one this is a very good point for eyes so in that way one two three and four four point unit are working very nicely for the eyes so we will put three more points further so this is our second metatarsal bone and this is our third metatarsal bone the junction of second and third metatarsal bone again having some points so if we draw two points first point will be one chun and next point will be half chun so, so first point will be one chun next point will be half chun so these two points unit are very good for this part shoulder pain if someone is having shoulder pain frozen shoulder uh, pain in the elbow pain in the wrist numbness in the finger so these two points unit are 55.03 are very good for them so this is a 55.03 so we are telling flower bone two, flower bone two. So like if someone is having someone telling doctor I am having some like uh, shoulder pain, so we can put two needle here. So this is the point one. This is the point one, and this is the point two. The combination of these two point. The combination of two point is very good for all the condition related with the shoulder pain. Always remember, use this point opposite side. Someone having right shoulder pain, right frozen shoulder, use this point on the left side or vice versa. Someone is having elbow pain. Someone is having numbness in the finger. On the right side, use this point on the left side. So in that way, these are the second, our flower bone to or 55.03 point unit. Flower bone 3 is the point it is two chun so how many how to measure two, two chun this is the two chun so this is the two chun distance this is the flower bone three so if we go third metatarsal bone and fourth metatarsal bone so the one two three so between the third and fourth metatarsal bone if we go two chun down so this is the flower bone three and this is very good for back pain so i we have seen in this image so this flower bone three is good for back pain, especially in the upper back, and even abdominal part, upper upper abdominal part. So if someone is suffering with the problem of back pain, like pain near about T11, T12, L1 on the back pain condition, this single point is work very nicely. So if someone is suffering with the back pain, we can put needle here. Between fourth and fifth metatarsal bone we go 1.5 chun down 
so if we go 1.5 chun down so it is coming on the near about same level so from here we are going 2 chun down from here we are going 1.5 chun down so both points are coming on the near about same level it is very good point for the lower back pain sciatica pain pain in the coccyx pain in the tailbone pain in the legs numbness in the legs so any condition which is connected with the leg region they are doing very wonderful they are giving very wonderful results so how to insert the needle again here we can put the point so in that way yeah. so the uppermost part is flower bone one yeah. which is uh, treating migraine pain headache problem the eyes problem the ear all the condition which is in the upper body part okay flower bone two are treating pain in the shoulder pain in the elbow pain in the arms okay. like that yes. and flower flower bone three are treating the uh, pain in the upper abdomen upper back okay and flower bone four treating the pain in the lower back and lower abdomen not only this uh, pain in the coccyx, style bone, sacrum, lower leg region, knee, knee pain and all the things which is coming down. 55.01, 2, then this is 55.03, 55.04 and 55.05. This is 55.06. 55.06. We can see this vigor muscles. We can see this vigor muscle, and this is the depression. This is ending of the muscles. So this is the location of fifty five point zero six, and this is the wonderful point. We are telling this brain tumor point, brain tumor point. Mm. So this is very wonderful for the brain tumor. Not only brain tumor, if anything, any unwanted growth in the brain, like someone is having uh, tumor behind the eyes. So we are telling retroorbital tumor, tumor. Sometimes some person is uh, uh, having increased fluids in the brain, like we are telling hydrocephalus. Increased cerebrospinal fluids means increased level of fluids in the brain. So anything which is unwanted and increase in the brain, so we can decrease with the help of this point. So it is reducing every growth, unwanted growth from the brain. So this is the brain tumor point. It is very wonderful. So whenever we want to reduce the brain tumor, so we are using three point unit. One is 55.06. Second will be 77.01, which is here. This is the medial malleolus. And this is the lateral malleolus. The junction of these two points, these are the 77.01. 77 so we are using three points unit 55.06, 77.01 and kidney 2. Kidney 2 points are just below the, this navicular bone. So what we are, how we are using kidney 2? We are not using particular point. We are just choosing this much area and doing bleeding from here. So from the lower or the middle malleolus, we are doing bleeding from here. So we are puncturing the blood vessels and taking out some blood. So these three point combination means 55.06, 77.01 and this is kidney. kidney 2. These three point unit or three point dauma is very wonderful for brain tumor, retroorbital tumor, hydrocephalus, increased size of head because of the excessive fluids collection in the brain, any unwanted growth in the... The 55.06 is very good for the brain tumor, for the any like excessive liquid, excessive collection in the brain, something which is depositing in the brain, unwanted collection in the brain, either this is in the ventricles of the brain or this is the behind the eyes in the retroorbital part or anything which is like the blood clot in the brain, in that condition, we can treat the 55.06 point. Okay, so I think No, so I am telling you, if some like, uh, if any child is having some unwanted growth in the brain, that then we can use it. Otherwise, for the brain purpose, for the child purpose, we are having other points also, which will we are going to discuss in the future. Okay. So now enough for today. Tumor, it is very good for the tumor, no doubt. Like we are using 55.06 point for the tumor, for the brain tumor, for any nodule in the tumor, and we have tumor behind the eyes. 
any unwanted growth in the eyes. This means there is no need of angle, just we have to insert the needle. So when we are using the cube, because when we are inserting the needle under the feet, that time what is happening? Because feet is very sensitive areas. And these points may be a little painful because, because we are inserting the feet. So we are just keeping the cube vertically and hitting the needle. These points are very good for cataract and for all the eyes product. We are using opposite side. In the master tone, we have to remember one formula of opposite side. So whenever you want to treat any problem anywhere in the body, we have to treat the opposite side. So whenever you want to treat the problem in the left eye, we will in insert the point in the right side. When we want to treat the left shoulder pain, we will put the point in the right feet. So we are putting the points in the right side. But when problem is bilateral, when problem is both the side, then at a time we are using one feet and in the next day we, are, we will choose next feet. And we are keeping the needle minimum for 40 minutes. So the points, the 55.02 two point of flower bone one are very good for uh, points for the head region. But especially this point has been detected very good for the eyes. For the tongue problem, we are having some other points. So this tumor point is working in if tumor everywhere, anywhere in the head region, anywhere in the head. Master Dung used to put the needle for, uh, means from 40 minutes till two hours. It depends on the problem. If someone is suffering with the, uh, means someone having very bad problem, so master to use to little for two hours as well. But the ideal time as per the clinic is 40 minutes. But many scholars, they are telling 28.8 minutes and there is some scientific explanation behind the time means 28.8 minutes minimum. So we should go more than that. So if we are inserting the little <coughs> for 30 minutes, it's, then also it will be enough. <coughs> for the 55.01 point, we are putting the, this point is horizontally because whenever we put the point in the toes, because we have one, only one point in the toes. So this point we are putting horizontally. But if you want to bring the very faster result, like someone is suffering with the angina pain and pain in the chest, so we are bleeding this point. So we, if we want to treat some patient suffering with the heart attack, suffering with the angina pain, so we are taking out some drop of blood. And one more thing I want to tell you, we are doing two types of treatment. One is needling. So whenever you want to needle, we have to always needle opposite side. Second, sometimes we are taking out the blood and we are doing blood lating. So whenever you want to do the blood lating, always do the blood lating from the same side. If someone is having pain in the left side, then we can treat the right feet. So take out the some drop of liquid from the 55.01 from the left feet. For all the menstrual condition, like even it is delay menses, we can stimulate the 55.01 point, the, which is very good for all the uterine problem, all the menstrual problem. So we can just needle that point. Or we can, if we can tell the patient that stimulate the second toe every day, Twisting the second toe like 15 to 20 times morning and evening also will stimulate the uterus. For the problem of the uterus, you can choose on the one day you can choose right leg. In the next sitting, you can choose left leg. Definitely, we are having very good treatment for the fibroid because this is just starting. 
we will get lots of points for the fab drive. But 55 points, zero, one, is good point for all the condition of the uterus, as well as the flower wound four, or 55.05, the lowermost point of the body, that is good for all the problem in the lower part, including uterus. Because we are putting the point as per the imagination of the whole body there. For diabetes, we are having some other point. We will discuss because uh, even we can do the treatment of each and every body part here. But for the diabetes, we are having very good point in the lower leg. For the tongue, we are having very good point in the lower leg. For the uterus, we are having very good point in the fingers. So in that way, we are having points everywhere in the body. Some point working on one problem very nicely and some other point working on some other problem very nicely. We can just need to half chun because in the feet, half chun insertion is enough. Either we use half chun needle or we use one chun needle, but we have to insert the half chun needle. 